the nation mourns in Britain and countries and everybody who can think of the Queen and who has seen the Queen and a time that they don't remember uh, where there wasn't Queen Elizabeth II as uh, the nation mourns and many of the people who loved the Queen mourn, there is a transition taking place as King Charles III has become Canada's head of state. It's an automatic move after the Queen's death. Now this is a time where uh, everyone is mourning and so are we as we covered the breaking news and what's taken place at, uh, in, in England. Well this is a time also that uh, the Queen's state funeral is going to be around a 10 day time since her passing on September 8th. In the meantime, several ceremonial events will also be underway, including a formal accession ceremony for King Charles III at St. James Palace on Saturday, September 10th, and that is where he'll be formally be proclaimed the new monarch. Now, the UK Parliament and its devolved administrations in Northern Ireland, Scotland, and Wales are officially adjourned. Lawmakers have now, uh, for the next two days, are gathered in the House of Commons as they, f as following the Queen's passing, to pay tribute to her as they recollect her time, their time with her, and stories of her. And uh, it's it's great if you were to tune into it and listen to it. It is broadcasting live, and if you do not reside in England, well, you can access that on YouTube, and it's uh, it's something nice to listen to to hear their memories because as they share the personal stories of their experiences with the Queen at the time while they were in office. And flags will continue to be flown at half-mast. Now, King Charles III's coronation will take place. So will Queen Consort Camilla. She'll be crowned and will take her place by the side of her king, King Charles III. Uh, at one point, if you recall Camilla and her history, well, she was vilified against the backdrop of Diana, Princess of Wales. She was the people's princess, Diana, most loved. And uh, throughout all of that, uh, that played out in the 80s and the 90s, well, Camilla's, uh, from, from the position she was in to where she is now in terms of uh, the acceptance from the people as well as the queen, who's now been passed in the royal family, well, that's come a long way. It was Queen Elizabeth II's sincere wish that was stressed in a message published on the eve of her 70th Ascension Day that was earlier this year, February 2022, where she said that Charles' wife, Camilla, uh, will be known on his ascension to the throne as Queen Consort. There was a lot of speculation if she would just remain as Duchess that she is known now, or perhaps just a princess. Um, and so now it is confirmed, well, it was confirmed when the queen requested it earlier this year that she be known as queen consort. That put the questions and the debate to rest once and for all. Upon the queen's announcement, she actually said, um, uh, in, in her words, and I'm gonna quote her words, and this is what the queen had said. She says, when in the fullest of time, my son Charles becomes king, I know you will give him and his wife, Camilla, the same support you have given me and my sincere wish that when that time comes, Camilla will be known as Queen Consort as she continues her own loyal service, is what the Queen wrote. After Diana's death in 1997, it took two years for the heir to the throne, Prince Charles at the time, and his partner Camilla to make a public appearance together and that was at the birthday party of Camilla's sister at London's Ritz Hotel and the following year the Queen signaled her approval by attending a lunch with Charles and Camilla. The couple married on 9th of April in 2005 in a civil ceremony followed by a religious blessing at St. George's Chapel with Queen Elizabeth II present. Now Camilla took the title her uh, right honorable the Princess Consort, which is what a lot of people thought she would be known as, as HRH, the Princess Consort. But now she's going to be Queen Consort. This was a nod to what Charles had hoped would come to, you know, when his mother passes. Now the event drew a cheering crowd of about 20,000 people in the streets, uh, leading to Windsor Castle when uh, they, they officially uh, signed this for Camilla when she became, when she wed 
Prince Charles at the time. And this was the first sign that perhaps the public have accepted Camilla to a degree, which is uh, very important after what she was known as for decades earlier. Now, King Charles will be officially proclaimed Britain's new monarch at a meeting at the Ascension Council at St. James Palace on Saturday. Buckingham Palace has put out the statement at 9 a.m., uh, a GMT council meeting will take place, which has two parts, uh, proclaims the new sovereign and sees the king sign an oath to uphold the security of the church in Scotland. Following the meeting, there will be the principal proclamation at 10 a.m., that is GMT time, from the balcony overlooking Frere Court at St. James Palace, with other announcements of the new monarch made across the United Kingdom and the, in the city of London. Stay with Y Media as we're going to bring you the latest coverage on this, on King Charles III.